Welcome to the 4A Division I State Championship Press Conference. Between, uh, our game will be between Burns High School with a record of 12 and 2 and Gaffney High School with a record of 14 and 0. I'd like to introduce the coach from Burns High School, Chris Miller, and the coach from Gaffney High School, Coach Dan Jones. Uh, coach Miller, if you introduce your group here today. Okay. I'll we'll start with our principal first, Jeff Rogers, uh, athletic director Billy Young, and uh, Coach Bentley is, is a, a district athletic director and also my offensive coordinator. Uh, we got Doc Dillard at the end, plays nose. Jamal Johnson, defensive end. Kia Booker, uh, receiver, and Shooter Bentley, our quarterback. Coach Jones. We have Miss Davis on the end, our principal, Miss Marlene Davis. Mark Huff, our ath athletic director. And then on the far end, we had Quinshot Davis. And beside him, we have Joey Copeland, our quarterback. And then we have our DB, who told me his name is Snoop. <laughs> Snoop Byers, Sean Quill. And then we have Edward Bigby, a defensive lineman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, principals and ADs. <laughs> At this time, we'll open the floor to questions. Coach Miller, as good as Jack has been this year, uh, you guys come in, a lot of your guys have played in state championship games. Uh, None of these guys have played in state championship games. Do you guys feel like that experience benefits you guys at all or does not benefit you guys at all going into this game? Oh, well, I mean, you know, we have played, as our coaches have played, so a lot of the guys that are playing, this might be their first uh, you know, the, the, as, as years go on, those guys graduate, new guys come in, so it's a new experience for everybody. I don't know, you know, we have a few of them that have played there and done that, uh, but we're going to have to have a, a whole lot more than just playing in the state championship to be getting. Chris, can you talk about your team since the Gaffney game, maybe some of the things you've seen that you've liked as far as progression? I, I definitely think that uh, we've grown up, you know, uh, we were two and two at that time. I think we've changed some personnel around on both offense and defense. Uh, our kids have got more game experience. Um, you know, we've we've gotten a whole lot better. Uh, but that's what we, you know, all coaches want to do is progress during the season. I feel like we've we've uh, we've grown up a lot. Coach Jones, uh, do you see uh, looking at film? It's is Burns better than they were when you played them, and, and in what areas, and what what impresses you about what they what they're doing now? Well, I want Chris to tell me what areas they're better at. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, sitting right beside him, the quarterback. You know, he was a tenth grader, still a tenth grader, but now he's he, what we consider eleventh grader. He's already got fourteen games under his belt, and. Uh, We've certainly seen him mature, and he's making better decisions. And it looks like, uh, you know, he's brought the Kia Booker beside him because them two have hooked up quite a bit lately, uh, a little more than probably what they were doing earlier in the year. And as Chris says, you know, as you play, certainly as coaches, we hope they continue to get better. And, and I feel like our team has gotten better also. So at the end of the year, you ought to see, a, you know, both teams ought to be better. That's part of coaching. Dan, does this feel a little bit like, and I asked Chris this uh, off there or earlier, um, 26 state championships between the two of you. Does this seem like the, the heavyweight bout that everybody's been waiting for since the Big 16 started in 81? Well, I think any time we play, it's a heavyweight bout. Uh, we went to Burns this year, and, you know, the atmosphere couldn't have been much better as far as fan support and, you know, the excitement. Our kids, I know, were excited, and their kids were excited, and, Hey, it's 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 football, and I guess it's as good as it gets in South Carolina. It's my feeling. For both coaches, can you talk about the fact that the last couple of years there's been a rematch, and the other team won? So for anybody who looks at that first game, it can be a totally different situation. Well, um, you know, certainly looking back, you know, Chris and them had as good a team as there's been in South Carolina the year before last. I felt like, and. Uh, you know, with Marcus Lattimore and that group and the defensive linemen and the caliber of kids they had. But, you know, that's the great thing about high school football on any Friday night or Saturday afternoon, uh, whichever team comes. And, and uh, you know, you'd like to say it's uh, preparation, but sometimes when the game starts, uh, 
you know, things happen that you just can't prepare for and whatever, and, and things happen. But, uh, you know, certainly I've won, I've been in seven state championships, and uh, we've won five, and, and um, only one of those we were undefeated. So it's certainly a challenge to go undefeated, and, you know, and then it ain't only in football, it's in anything. So we certainly know it's a challenge in front of them, but it's also a goal that our kids want very bad. How about your thoughts on the rematch? You've been on both ends, one one and the line. I think it's it's hard. On, you know, just like uh, Coach said, it, it's hard. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's the game's got to be played, which is which is good. I mean, it's a good thing that um, I think that's what um, you know in college football everybody's worried about. You know, the, the rematch. Um, you know that, and and in that rematch, you know things could happen different. You, know, you never know, so that's why you got to play the game. Uh, as far as uh, looking at film and trying to figure out what, what each one of us is going to do, I think we both do the same thing. We both know that. There's no secrets. Uh, it's just, you know, we're, we're going to put it in the hands of our kids and let them decide. Coach Jones, you said you've been involved in several um, state championship matches. How is this any different from the rest? I'm the head coach. <laughs> I'm having to come to this media stuff. You know? I, I got coaches back home watching film and uh, doing the things that it's going to take to win this game, and I'm up here talking to y'all. So, I, you know, but as far as uh, I'm certainly proud to be in this position, and I'm, I'm certainly proud of the coaching staff that we have at Gaffney, and. and and because of them, I'm in this position, and, and because of these guys here. You, you don't get to state championships without good coaches and good players, that's for sure, and, and, and we certainly feel like we have that at Gap. Coach Jones, you're the second person that's act, actually from your town that's the head coach. You're the second person that ever coached, coached where you played, played, and so obviously you know about, you know, the in the years of you know, Gaffney's you know, success. Earlier this year, you told me that 22 players across the board, this was perhaps the best Gaffney team in school history. And they've had a lot of you know, fantastic teams. What makes this the best group, 22 across the board? Well, I've been coaching at Gaffney 19 years, and uh, all those years that I've coached there, we've, you know, Sidney Rice and Roger McIntosh, we've certainly, you know, in individual spots might have had some better players. But when I look at our defense, all 11 players, I don't want to sub, I don't want one, I wish we had an outside linebacker. No, I don't. Uh, all 11 of them are good. I mean, they're good high school football players. You know, usually there's one or two you got to hide and you don't feel as good about, but. I like all 11 of them, and I actually like 14 of them because there's about three others that could come in and, and do just as good a job. And on offense, I think when you have a caliber of receiver in Quinshawn Davis and Joey Copeland, who's completed about 70% of his passes in high school football, that just don't happen that much. And, um, you know, this is no doubt this is a special group, and, um, you know, it's like uh, Coach Miller said over here, though, you, you still got to play the game. You know, I see, I think it was last week or whatever, they were, what, Clemson was number seven, and then you got Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, and, you know, uh, that's what I preached our kids, you know, on you know, any given day, you can get your tail whooped. It don't matter how good you are, you better be ready to play. When did you play at Gaffney, and who was your head coach? I played 75 to 79, and Bobby Carlton was my head coach. And Ellis Johnson was the defense coordinator then, and I guess he's the one that kind of inspired me to get into coaching. He's probably one of the first coaches I had that started teaching technique and fundamentals and reads and keys and responsibilities instead of just a, you know, a grunt attitude, go hit it, you know. <laughs> so I, that's probably who inspired me. You still talk to Coach? Adam? Sure. Have you talked to him at all after this weekend? I know he's probably busy. No, I'm text, and we've gotten some emails. And of course, they're they're recruiting Quinshot, so he's probably a little more friendly now. But they got, him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, he's got a busy he's got a busy schedule. Coach Miller, same thing for you. You all had some great teams at Burns of, of the last decade. 
I think we named all the teams of the decade, you know, a couple of years ago, you, you know, 2000, 2009. No team in this state has had, you know, that success y'all had. Uh, what about this particular Burns team in a comparison to all the great teams y'all had in the last well, year? Well, I mean, uh, you know, not, a, not a, a slight to these guys. I mean, we can't, we can't compare as far as athlete for athlete. We get, I mean, he's talking about all 11. Well, I'm, you know, I'm probably, you know, maybe in that certain case, you know, there's no way we can put, uh, you know, 11 out there to match his. Um, our, our kids, though, I mean, they, they have such a great work ethic and um, big hearts. And uh, they understand the game, and they play the game. And, and our coaching staff, uh, I think we um, continue to uh, try to find ways to uh, scheme things and do things we got to do to win games. Um, I think early on in, in our season, like we said earlier, we were two and two. And we found a way to get you know get back here, and we're eleven and two. So. You know we're 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 doing pretty good, and I you know I love the way our kids respond. You know we've got guys that probably play two positions. You know um, that are big for us. When I say two positions, they're making up for maybe another guy on the field. But you know that other guy on the field, he might not be a you know uh, six two, two eighty with a four four speed. But his heart's there, and he's going to give us everything he's got. And that's what you got to have in high school football. I mean, you got to have guys on that team that know uh, know what their role is and what they got to do, and, uh, and they'll, they'll be there for the Saturday. Shula, can you comment on your season and uh, and playing them again? I know the first time they made you run around and knocked you down a little bit, but but you kept getting back up, and that's kind of the way you've been all year. I talked to a coach two weeks ago that said the game looks much slower for you now, much easier. Can you just kind of comment on how your progress has come along? Uh, yeah, it slowed down. You know, first time I played after it was fourth start, and you know, you know, I really didn't have much experience. But now, being the fifteenth game, you know, you got more games underneath your belt, and, I, and it has slowed down. You know, at time there was times during the first couple of games I took a sack instead of throwing it away, and you know, now I feel like I had no, you know, throw it away and not take a sack. Joey and uh, <clears throat> Quinchoff, you guys, you're the Shrine Bowlers, really, for all four of you, the senior leaders and all-stars. Um, how much with Coach Jones talking about all 11 on each side, offensive, defense, does that take pressure off of you guys to have to perform big when everybody's looking at you as, they're the Shrine Bowlers, they're the North-South guys, they're the ones that have to make plays. How much does that take pressure off of you knowing that everybody's going to play and has been doing that all year? Uh, you know, uh, you know, we just got to come out and play like we have been playing. You know, uh, stay on it like we have been staying on it. And uh, you know, you know, it's, it, it is kind of a lot of pressure. You know, being us at the uh, All Stars or whatever, and uh, you know, just the whole excitement of everything. But uh, you know, just keep playing like like as we've been playing. You know. Uh, Coach, what's your thoughts on the game? We, we got a lot of pressure, us being all-stars, but we know we got other players on our team that can make plays also and, like, come in and get the job done if we need a break. So, I mean, with us having a good team like that, we feel like we, don't, we ain't have too much pressure on us to perform. Coach, 